just as diamonds are formed by heat and pressure. In the same way, these emerald green waters and sugar sand beaches also have a history of being pressed by the fury of nature. Yet, what ends up being formed is something more beautiful than what it was before. Perhaps the waters of Panama City Beach can give us a lesson in resurgence, a stimulant for a life that takes full advantage of the freedoms we have. It was October 10th, 2018. The Cat 5 Hurricane Michael came ashore with the eye going right over Tyndall Air Force Base, nearly wiping parts of Panama City and nearby Mexico Beach right off the map. Today, 19 months later, as the nation recovers from another crisis, there is a no fear, free spirit in Panama City. A beach community that has an appreciation for the people who come and visit its shores. As we drive State Route 30, restaurants are full of people again, connecting and appreciating life. Panama City Beach regularly ranks among the top 10 beaches in the country. It averages 327 days of sunshine a year. So maybe to revive your spirit, all you need is to rent a boat and sail up to St. Andrews Bay or drive a golf cart along Front Beach Road, or maybe just feeling the golf breeze on your face and seeing a sunset on the Russell Fields Pier. Whatever it is, I think you'll find life being lived on this Northwest Florida Gulf Coast Beach. Let us not forget that freedom is not free. It has come with a heavy price of those who have put themselves in harm's way. Without their sacrifice, we would not have the freedom to adventure and enjoy the nature of this great land. May we never forget our veterans. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride as we show you Panama City Beach coming back to life. We take US-98 over the Hathaway Bridge to the beaches and start at Laguna Beach and work our way south. This western part of Panama City Beach is not as crowded, plenty of room to pull along the side of the road and go to the beach. Christian Retreat is located here with 16 swimming pools, basketball, volleyball courts, 16 kitchens, meeting rooms, cafe, coffee shop, a great atmosphere for refreshment. Plenty cozy cottage rentals by Resort Quest Real Estate. Panama City Beach has some of the mid-Atlantic style cottages you typically do not see in other parts of Florida, which I love. We want to get up to Ocean City, Maryland sometime this summer where you see more of that. Many of the Panama City Beach resorts does their park in the smart way, where the parking garage is across the street with a skyway to the main building. The family-friendly Sandpiper Beacon Beach Resort with its own water slide. We now enter the center of Panama City Beach, the Pier Park area, which begins at the Russell Fields Pier. This is an impressive pier, one of the best I've seen. It is $3 to walk the pier or $7 to fish from it. This as well as another pier we'll show you four miles down the road is 1,500 feet long, which makes it one of the longest piers in Florida. At the base of the pier, plenty of concessions, along with the Hook Pier Bar and Grill. Pure Park Mall has a variety of dining options. You can nibble on a sponge cake and watch the sun bake in Margaritavale. Want seafood and oysters? Try the back porch or Caribbean style seafood at Pompano Joe's. Pure Park has 124 stores, an IMAX theater, laser tag, sky wheel, and live music. It also has the Osaka Japanese Hibachi Steakhouse and Sushi Bar, a Starbucks, Panera Bread, Five Guys, everything you could ever need is right here. Well that is with the exception of a tropical smoothie, but that is five miles down the road near Wonder Orcs. There is a Smoothie King at Pier Park.
Golf World is a marine park where you can swim with the dolphins, experience a meet and greet with a sea lion, feed stingrays, encounter harbor seals, sharks, and penguins. Next to Golf World is the All-American Diner with Elvis and Marilyn Monroe outside there. No doubt the best way to see Panama City Beach is renting a dune buggy, golf cart, or scooter by Outlaw Rentals in California Cycles. Panama City Beach is known as the shipwreck capital of the South. These wrecks, along with its 50 artificial reefs full of marine life, make it a premier diving destination in the South. Best time of year to dive is April through September. As we approach the county pier, people enjoying the view in their shaded beach recliners. At one of the newest resorts on Panama City Beach, the Spring Hill Suites by Marriott. The M.B. Miller County Pier, like the city pier, 1,500 feet long, $3 for walking, $6 for fishing. Good for catching cobia, king and Spanish mackerel, redfish, pompano, flounder, rod rentals, bait, and tackle available on site. Across the street from the pier, play a round of goofy golf for $10 with giant statues which can be climbed. On the other side of the pier is the Sterling Reef Condo Resort. You can see why this part of Florida is known as the Emerald Coast. From Pensacola Beach to Panama City Beach, the Gulf Waters has a rich emerald color. Next to the Sterling Reef, the Beach Tower Resort, which has barbecue grills and a picnic area, my kind of resort. Shipwreck Island Water Park is also in this area. We did not film it because it was closed. It was rated as the third best water park in the country in 2018 by TripAdvisor. No shoes, no shirt required at the new Barefoot Bar and Grill, which serves breakfast, lunch, and dinner with a pool. While the beach here is awesome, for any great beach community, you also want to have additional forms of entertainment. And Panama City Beach has just that, as Front Beach Road begins to curve a little inland from the beach. Experience the bizarre, the mysterious at the Ripley's Believe It or Not. Across the street, climb through obstacles in the glow-in-the-dark ropes course. Or play laser tag at the Wonder Works. I guess the building got flipped upside down during the hurricane, and they just left it that way. Further up Oceanfront Road, the Race City Amusement Park with go-kart tracks, thrill rides, sky roaster ride, bumper boats, and a mega arcade. More fun next door at the Cobra Adventure Park with the Max Flight Simulator, a four-level go-kart track, an arcade. Across the street, the Pirates Island Adventure Golf. We take a quick trip towards historic downtown Panama City, a nice drive along West Beach Drive, overlooking the gorgeous St. Andrews Bay. Historic downtown Panama City. Redfish Point on Shell Island is a well-preserved area with oaks, wildlife, and a sunken sailboat. However, this is Air Force property, part of Tyndall Air Force Base. Let's head back to the beach and pick up Thomas Drive at the Signal Hill Golf Course. Panama City Beach is the number one spring break destination in the U.S with nearly a half a million students in town each year. And they party at the largest nightclub in the U.S., Club La Vila, with a total capacity of 6,048 bar stations, cutting the edge sound and lighting, and a beachside pool. This is the place to be during spring break. Across the street is the Slingshot and Vomitron. Did you know the Truman Show starring Jim Carrey? was filmed in nearby Seaside Beach. Now we are going to head to the Lagoon, the water sports center of Panama City Beach. Adventures at Sea is where you can take dolphin tours, snorkeling boats, or parasail, and plenty of rentals for jet skis, wave runners, and pontoon boats. Pontoon boats are ideal because they are easy to handle, so you don't need much experience. 
and plenty of room for the family. Just about anything water sport related you can do here. And a nice bar and grill and boardwalk area. Across the road is the Lighthouse Marina, where you can take a trip back in time to the days of pirates aboard the Sea Dragon pirate ship. A two-hour interactive sightseeing trip. Your kids can sword fight, swab the deck, read a treasure map, fire a cannon. The Captain Anderson has deep sea fishing trips, sightseeing and dolphin tours. Did you know that Panama City Beach has one of the most highest concentration of wild bottlenose dolphins in the world? This area is great for catching tuna, blue marlin, sharks, dolphin fish, red snapper, grouper, and pompano. Across the bridge at Treasure Island Marina is Sea Screamers, which offers one hour dolphin adventures on a speedboat. We head back to the lower Grand Lagoon area of Panama City Beach. Some nice cottages at Beach Access number 13 along Golf Drive. Great for family getaways. The Sterling Beach condos can be seen on VRBO.com. As you go further east, the beach gets less crowded. Public Access number two emits some nice quaint cottages. The Panama City Beach Panorama is a round-shaped large condo, which gives you, as the name implies, a panoramic view. Are you traveling in an RV? Check out the Panama City Beach RV Resort. St. Andrews Park on the eastern tip of Panama City Beach has 1,260 acres of forest sand dunes covered with sea oats, both fresh and saltwater marshes, a lagoon area for swimming, fishing jetties, hiking trails, and two campgrounds. This area has come through some hard times, and that is probably why it is so evident that the people of Panama City Beach have a great appreciation of life and its friendly attitude to its visitors. To live life to the full, a lesson we all can learn from the waters of Panama City Beach. We are Tampa Aerial Media. We shoot travel videos across the USA. Coming up next week, Feels Good to Be Alive, a compilation video of traveling the USA. For licensing or stock footage, contact us at info at tampaaerialmedia.com. Thank you for watching and blessings to you wherever you may be.